dumplings, it is me, Jen, and I'm here with a video that I thought you guys might find interesting, especially in light of the brand new patch that was just updated for The Sims 4. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to fix your game when it is not working. This just happened to me recently, and I'm going to show you guys a bunch of tips and tricks, don't mind that little thing on the side, on how to fix your Sims game. So the first thing that you're going to do is when your Sims game isn't working properly, you want to go and open up your origin and you want to go into the section called my games you want to right click on it and you're going to see two options the first option is check for updates that's the first thing you want to do check for updates the second thing you want to do after you've updated your game is click this little thing called repair game that kind of automatically sets things and fixes things if they need to be fixed now what i did not know and what I just realized is before every update and patch, you're supposed to remove all your mods and then install the patch and then put your mods back in. That can be a bit of a pain, but that is definitely advice that I didn't know I had to do. Now I know. So every time there's a patch, not every update, but every time there's a patch, you want to remove your mods, install the patch, and then put your mods back in. So if you've tried to update your game and you've tried to repair your game, through EA, or I'm sorry, through Origin, the next step is to remove your mods and see if that is part of the problem. So what you want to do is you want to go to your desktop and you want to right click on your desktop right here and you want to select new and then you want to select folder. We're going to name this folder mods2. This is also useful for when you have to uh, move your mods out of your sims game for any patch update so you might want to keep this folder around just because even though this folder is called mods it's not going to affect in any way your mods folder for your sims 4 game because it's on your desktop and not in your sims 4 game so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your, this pc then you're going to go to documents and then you're going to go to electronic arts the sims 4 and then you're going to go to mods. These are all the mods I have in my game at this moment. I've been playing around with things lately and so I don't have a lot. But even if you have a lot, just you're going to press down on your left mouse or left click. You're going to drag up and you're going to collect all of these. See this thing that says resource, whatever? I just include that. I don't know if it's important or not. Don't know. But I always include it anyway. Then we are going to cut. Make sure that you cut, not copy, because the idea is to completely remove the mods 100%. So you want to cut the mods, then you want to X out of this baby, go to your mods 2 folder, and then you want to paste. Now all your mods are nice and safe and snug as a bug in a rug in this separate folder. After you do this, you want to boot up your Sims game. If your Sims game boots up properly, then it means that it was one of the mods that was messing up your game. If you remove your mods and your Sims game does not boot up properly, it may be another issue. There's a good chance that your video card is needing to be updated. So you want to check with your video card, see if it needs any updates. That usually is the thing that will fix it if it's not mods related it may be video card related now once you boot up your game and you see that it is going perfectly fine the next thing you want to do is check your mods see which things might be screwing up your game the first thing that you want to go to are script mods so script mods are anything that changes the game if you look on my mods i have turbo career I have uh, no mosaic, which makes your Sims nude. I don't know, I'm a perv, what can I say? Um, the UI extension cheat, which is like my favorite cheat ever. Um, venue list mod, the Bible Dirty Dishes. This is just all turbo career stuff. So the first thing you wanna do is if there was anything you downloaded recently, you wanna remove that. Now, if you see up here where it says date modified, Normally, all of the dates will just be in a big old jumble. If you click on that, it's going to organize things for you. So what you can do is you can just go to whatever you messed with last, remove those. It's the easiest way if you know like, hey, things started messing up when I downloaded such and such. Now, if, if it just is happening randomly and you didn't download anything, 
and there may have been a patch, the next thing that you might want to do is go into your script mods and see if anything needs to be updated. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and putting up with this really boring like mods folder view. Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope that you guys liked it and I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and you can comment below and let me know if this helped you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.